this is why I don't have male best friend in America. This is why I don't keep male best here. I have tried it, but almost all of them like me beyond friendship. I don't know how my fellow guy will see me. The only thing his mind will be telling him is how to deflower my gash. I don't know why. You get to the point now. I just came back from Atlanta. Where I was in Atlanta, I called one of my friends. We are not that close, but we talk sometimes. I was like, yo, bro, I'm in your city. I would like you to take me around the city. The guy was so happy. He was so excited over the phone to see me. I don't know how my fellow guy will be so excited to see me. You get to the point now. The guy asked me where I was. I told him I was in social hotel. The guy said, no, I don't have to pay for hotel. I should check out. I said, no, I'm not checking out. I've already paid for tonight. The guy said, I should pack my things. That he's coming to pick me up and he'll pay me the damage. I was like, oh, maybe he's just a nice guy. You know, I didn't think anything negative. The guy took me to his house. You know, while I was in his house, I went to the bathroom to ease myself. Then I saw baby oil. I was like, this guy is not married. What is he doing with baby oil? He's not living with any child. I don't understand. So because of that, I was so uncomfortable. So the guy noticed. He was like, he, was, he kept asking me, are you okay? Feel free. This is your house. I say, I'm good. I'm just, I have so much on my mind. You know, long story short, at night, the guy asked me to come inside the room and sleep. I said, no, I'm okay where I was. That when I'm tired, I will come over. But now I'm still busy with my phone. The guy said, no problem. Good night. In the middle of the night, I just noticed hand. Somebody was just touching me. You know, I thought I was dreaming. You know, I, was, I struggled to wake up. When I woke up, I didn't know who he was. I don't want to care. I just I had to blow the person. Boom, because I was surviving. I thought the guy is trying to take my life. Then I blew the guy. The guy fell. That was my guy. I was like, yo, are you are you normal? What kind of nonsense is this? He said, no, he's sorry that he can't, he can't hold it. You can't hold what? Like, you can't hold what? I'm not your colleague. I'm not a member. I'm not a monk, please. I love my women, and I'm straightforward. You get to the point now. I had to pack my things, left his house that night. I don't know why. I don't know why my fellow guy would just see me. Any, the only thing they will be thinking is how to deflower my gnash. Listen, I respect whatever you believe. I respect your orientation. But respect me too. Don't make me try to understand. There is nothing for me to understand. You get to the point now. I don't want to understand. Stay your lane. Let me stay my lane. If you have business, call me. But anything emotional, please, I beg you. I'm not your colleague. Thank you.